the gossip. This is a true story. The names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. Mainly, it's the story of Laura and Jean. Laura and Jean were best friends. They double dated together, they studied together, and often, after school, they went to the corner drugstore together. The drugstore was a favorite hangout. Some of the kids did a drugstore. Laura. 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 Uh-huh. Laura, I've been thinking. Maybe we shouldn't see each other quite so much. Are you afraid of what Frida Thompson will say? You're dependable and you make good grades and... And you're just about the best friend a girl ever had. But, well, let's not give Frida a chance to do any talking. Hmm? 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, but... I sure hate to have to worry about what people will say. So do I. But you have to sometimes, I guess. And Laura. 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 Uh-huh. If anything ever should come up about one of us, let's ask right out. Get the facts. No jumping to conclusions. Laura. 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 Uh-huh. Now, do we all understand Mrs. Hoover's instructions? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We each have a candidate to check on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't think it's fair to ask Laura to check on Jean, since they're best friends and all. Well, I'm sure Laura will be objective about it, Mary. Oh, yes, Mildred. I'm sure Laura will be objective about it, as objective as she can be. I'm just saying I think it'll look funny for Laura to check on her best friend. Now there's one more thing on Mrs. Hoover's instructions. Then can we go? Yes, then you can go. Here it is. Remember, girls, we have to do a lot of talking about people in this office. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hi, Frida. Does your best friend go to... What do you mean? Look. Oh, Frida, he's just taking her home. Well, when the cat's away, the mice will. Bye now. Laura, 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 Laura. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Jean, oh, Larry, come here a minute. Oh, I have not. Not. What, what can I do for you, cutie? You're in Mrs. Anderson's third hour class, aren't you? Don't I look? I've been up most likely studying for that nice quiz of hers. I don't understand. I was talking the other day in Mrs. Anderson's room about the party we were going to get. Got Anderson and I. Anderson handed back our test papers this morning. Our boy Larry here got an ugly here. Hello, boy Larry here got an ugly here. Hello. Hey. So what? That was. An ugly here. Hello, boy Larry here got an ugly here. Hello. I don't understand. I was talking the other day in Mrs. Anderson's room about the party we were going to get. Got answers. Oh, what color? Big news, big Why? news. Guess who I saw exchanging notes in study hall. I know, teacher. Jim O'Donnell and Jean Brownlee. Exchanging notes doesn't mean a thing. Well, I'm just telling you what I saw and seeing, believing. Not always. Well, just yesterday after the meeting, then I... Well, why didn't somebody tell me? I did. I I think that Jean Brownlee doesn't deserve to be nominated 
for president. Well, Laura, you're Jean's best friend, and you wouldn't be bringing in just plain gossip about her. But somehow it just doesn't seem like Jean did help people cheat on a quiz. Oh, I don't know. She makes pretty high grades for someone who has so many outside activities. Yes. Thing and thing and thing. I don't understand. It's not true. None of it's true. Laura, you know I wouldn't do a thing like that. Why didn't you come and ask me about it? We, we weren't supposed to talk about it outside the meeting. You weren't. I don't understand. I thought we were always going to get the facts before we jumped to conclusions. I, I thought I had the facts. But you didn't. You didn't. Jean, you're making it worse than it really is. No, I'm not. It's a big lie. You can live it down. Why? Why do I have to live it down? Why do I have to live down a big lie? Laura. 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 Who started it? Tell me, who started it? I... I can't. Why? I... <laughs> Women. Oh, well. Say, happy birthday. Here, take it. Why, thank you, Jim, but I thought you'd forgotten. Why should I forget? I don't... Oh, Jim, a friendship bracelet. How did you know I wanted one? The clerks look at you so funny and everything. Laura, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Go away. No, nothing was wrong, except that everything was wrong. Can Laura do anything to help Jean now that she's sorted the facts from the gossip? How can you tell the difference between fact and gossip? What do you think?